let's get into our next assignment assignment number four this is uh, a relatively easy assignment let's go to gen ai course in our course once you're done with uh, all the sessions until uh, lang chain once you're done with uh, video number one video number two three four five and then assignment one two three is also done video number six is about uh, lang chain in video number six we have also explained about uh, what are some of the open source llms if you have watched until video number six this assignment will be very easy for you go through the assignment problem statement the problem statement is uh, quite simple here is the assignment uh, code file we'll try to make a copy of this file and then try to write the solution for it as i told you this assignment is pretty easy if you already know what is lang chain and the basics of it if you do not know it then it will be very difficult to write the code for it or it will be very difficult to understand what is the problem statement here so i want you to watch this video until video six if you complete then you are ready to do this assignment so let us try to get the solution for this assignment here is the copy of the file so it's a pretty straightforward assignment create a lang chain create two chains the first chain identifies the sentiment the second chain based on the sentiments it generates a follow-up question if the sentiment is positive the follow-up question should be related to what has made it positive if the sentiment is negative the uh, the follow-up question should be uh, why the sentiment is negative so we will be creating two simple chains and then connecting them using the sequential chain so let us give it a try first we have to install all the required packages pip install lang chain You will be installing lang chain and open ai cohere also need to be installed like i'll be using open ai you can uh, if you have open ai key you can use it otherwise you can get cohere trail key that you can use it and then a lang chain community that we need to install it anyway so first let us create uh, chain one so to create chain one so from lang chain from lang chain import uh, cohere import llm chain import uh, prompt template sequential chain also we have to import from lang chain import uh, sequential chain and then uh, open ai we like you can use cohere i will use uh, cohere and uh, open ai so let me say cohere comma open ai i think that is it uh, nothing else is required here if required then we can get them later on I think once you have installed them, first of all, we have to get the key. We have to make sure that we give the OpenAI API key and Cohere API key. So import OS, OS dot environment dot Cohere key. You can write your Cohere key here. Otherwise, a better way would be import, I think from Google Colab, from Google dot Colab, import user data so that's what we need to edit this is one way to get the cohere key otherwise you can get os dot environment instead of writing this you can say user data dot get if you have this uh, secrets file in the secrets file you must be saving it with the same name open AI api key cohere api key exactly the name that appears here you can also do it in this manner so either you can directly write it in the notebook usually that's not a good idea you have to save them in a secret folder or a secret place and then get it like this open AI api key cohere api key both of them are ready you have to grant permission because we are accessing it from collab resources so grant permission now chain one is the first one which is a simple one it will take the input as the sentence or the document and it has to predict what is the sentiment in it so let us follow our usual structure we will say my large language model is equal to either open ai either you can use this or you can also use my large language model is equal to cohere any one of these two you can use so in this case i will try to use the uh, open ai in this example large language model is uh, open ai and then uh, let's create a template or directly also prompt template we can create sentiment analysis prompt 
sentiment prompt is equal to prompt template did we import prompt template yes we did prompt template prompt template and the input prompt that we have to write the input variable is text input underscore variable is equal to the text or let us write it slightly different first we will create a template template is equal to take the text as input take the below text as input text is given here let me call that as input underscore text so that will be the input variable for us okay and then respond respond so before this we will try to give this one this all will get into the respond with the positive or negative depending on the sentiment of the text so that is it i want to write that is a template now i will try to create the sentiment analysis prompt prompt template input variable is input text template is template and then sentiment analysis chain llm chain use the large language model prompt equal to this one output key is sentiment so this output key will be used as input to the next chain so let's execute this let us try to run it for a sample so let's say my result is equal to i'm just testing it once sentiment analysis chain dot invoke then i would say input text i am very happy today that is one of the example so i would say print result out of that sentiment positive the product the product quality is very bad negative sentiment is negative so chain one is done now then we will get into chain two which is like once the user gives us the text, once we get the sentiment, then we will try to ask a follow-up question saying that, why do you think, what is the problem? Take the sentiment as input and write a follow-up question. So that will also be simple. We can directly, once again, we will say my large language model is equal to OpenAI or Cohere. And then uh, let's call this as a template. And then take the, or, uh, take the sentiment of the text as input and generate a follow-up question based on the sentiment that's right so sentiment is given here sentiment is given here and the input variable name is sentiment we have already stored it as sentiment variable now let's write the follow-up questions if if the sentiment is positive generate the question about uh, what made it positive if it is uh, negative generate a question uh, what uh, specifically generate a question specifically what uh, specifically made the experience like what made it uh, negative okay so this is the template from the template we will write uh, prompt template we will create so we will call it as follow-up template follow-up question template so this is the prompt input variable is sentiment template is template that should be fine and then uh, llm chain we are creating follow-up question chain llm follow-up question and we are storing the output in the follow-up question so the final uh, like once this is created we will try to say like we will just 
check this particular chain later on we will combine both the chains then made a make a sequential jail the result is equal to follow-up question sentiment is positive the follow-up question will be can you please tell us what made uh, what made this uh, text uh, positive okay if i say the sentiment is uh, negative what caused the negative sentiment uh, write a detailed uh, follow-up question write a detailed write a detailed follow-up question not a simple one For negative sentiment, follow-up question could be what specific aspect of the cause for the positive sentiment, the follow-up. I think this is not the one that we are looking for. Then sentiment is negative. What made the sentiment negative? Now combine both the chains into sequential chain. We will just give the text as input and rest of the thing should happen automatically. I would call this finally a sentiment chain. Sentiment final chain is sequential chain. Use the sentiment analysis chain, follow up question chain, input variable is text, output variables are these two. Now looks like a sequential chain, output variables are missing. Input variable is text, output uh, variables are sentiment and uh, follow up question, which are also fine follow up question and sentiment. Missing the keys, input variables are uh, these. Chains are sentiment analysis. Are we making any miss? Are we missing anything? Let us check. Input text is the input variable, not really input. Input variables for this are, this is the input variable. Where is it? In the sentiment analysis. Input variable is input underscore text according to the first chain. Once you have the sequential chain, let's write the input text is equal to, let's write, uh, I had a great time at the park today. The weather was perfect and the park was great. So this is the input text, obviously positive. Then let us write our result is equal to sentiment dot uh, invoke and then the input text is nothing but the input text now if i try to print the sentiment if i want to print then i would say result sentiment is positive if i want to see the follow up question what made uh, what aspect of the situation contributed to positive sentiment so this is the sequential chain that we are talking about. Now we can do a little bit of modification also here. Not only sentiment, we can take the input text, input text and sentiment of the text as input. That means uh, we can say the text is given here. We will take input text as well as sentiment in the second chain. By doing so, what we can say is if the sentiment is positive, generate a question, what made it positive based on whatever is the input text similarly so the question that will be generated we want to make it or we want to connect it to whatever is the context so based on the text we want to generate the question now it may not work because here we have to give sentiment as well as input text both directly we go to our sequential chain in this sequential chain input text is available sentiment is also available now if somebody writes like this i had a great time at park today weather was great then the result would be somewhat uh, based on this input text sentiment will be positive anyway but the follow-up question will be somewhat related to this park the follow-up question will be very much related to this so if i try to print the follow-up question so it will say what specifically about the weather and the park uh, made your experience so great so this is very much connected to whatever our input text is so you can take uh, two inputs as well in the second chain and try to give it to the sequential chain then it will try to generate the output that is very much related to our uh, context let us do one more example let's say this is input text let me create one more input uh, text just below this the food was 
not that great. The staff were rude, service was bad. Okay, that is the input text. Sentiment will be negative anyway. Now the follow-up question will be what specific aspect the food was not get? What behavior of the staff was not rude? What factors contributed to bad service? Let's do one more example, then we will wrap it up. As I told you, this is a simple example if you know LangChain. Otherwise, uh, you go through the video of the LangChain, then you will also find it very easy. Movie was uh, good, but acting was uh, bad. Now, this is a neutral one. Let us see how our uh, sequence behaves. Sentiment, negative only, finally. What aspect of the movie did you find particularly enjoyable? Even though it is negative, but since we said movie was like, uh, movie was bad, acting was also bad. Then in this case, it will ask uh, negative sentiment for sure. What aspect of the movie badness did you particularly find it disappointing? Very, very simple questions it is trying to ask. So this is the a uh, simple solution for the assignment four that we have seen so let's go to our next video but before that make sure that you complete this assignment